JFT just fair and direct. Good morning everyone and welcome to JFD's daily market review for June uh, the 8th. I am Harald Amos Pissuros, Head of Research here at JFD. And I will talk about yesterday's main market movers, what's my opinion moving ahead, what are today's important events and how they could affect the markets. But before we start, let's read our disclaimer. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. I will leave you a few seconds uh, to read the rest and then we will jump into our analysis. Okay, the US dollar traded mixed against the other major currencies on Tuesday during the Asian se session Wednesday. It gained versus uh, CHF, JPY, NZD and OZ in that order, while it, uh, it underperformed against uh, the British pound and the Canadian dollar. The greenback was found virtually unchanged against the euro. Now, the weakness in the safe havens yen and franc, as well as in the risk-linked OZ and Kiwi, paint a blurry picture with regards to the broader market sentiment. That said, given that the yen and franc lost the most and that the Canadian dollar was the second gainer in line, uh, this makes us believe that appetite may have improved at some point. Indeed, although European, uh, European shares traded in the red, perhaps as investors become more cautious ahead of tomorrow's ECB gathering, Wall Street saw all three of its major, indi of its major indices gain ground with a positive appetite rolling into the Asian session today. Initially, Wall Street slid after Target Corp cut its uh, quarterly profit margin forecast. However, the firm also said that <coughs> excuse me, it will offer uh, deeper discounts um, uh, to clear inventory, which may have raised some speculation that if other large retailers follow suit, this could mean easing consumer prices soon. And that's why uh, maybe we saw all three of Wall Street indices uh, rebounding and ending their session well in the green. Now, for now though, uh, U.S. investors may be sitting on the edge of their seats in anticipation of the U.S. inflation data due out on Friday and not so much whether uh, Target's decision uh, will, uh, will mean easy consumer prices in the future as such because uh, CPI data for the, for, for the month of May may be very indicative as uh, as to what uh, we will get ahead if, um, if accelerating prices, if we will get more, if we will get accelerating prices, or if we will have signs that uh, inflation has already started uh, to ease. Recently, there has been some speculation that the Fed may take a break from rising interest rates after summer, but several Fed officials put cold water to that belief. Having said that though, MEs in Friday's data, as I already mentioned, could revive speculation of uh, a pause, and if not a pause, a slowdown on, in, in, the, in the Fed's uh, high, uh, future interest rate uh, path. Something like that could continue to benefit equities, as it would mean lower borrowing costs for firms for a longer period of time. Now, on the other hand, an upside surprise could signal that inflation has not peaked yet and that more aggressive action is needed uh, by the Fed. This will be positive for the US dollar and negative for the stock market. Now, back to the FX sphere, the pound was the main gainer yesterday, recovering earlier losses triggered by political uncertainty. It fell to a near three-week low against uh, the dollar a day after British Prime Minister Boris Johnson survived a confidence vote, but which left him politically weakened. So, given that we cannot see a clear and concrete catalyst behind the subsequent rebound, we would guess that this was some sort, just some sort of... Um, of um, uh, short covering. 
Now, with the Bank of England expected to continue hiking interest rates, but at a slower pace than the Fed, due to increased uh, reservation fears, as the bank itself w warned at its uh, latest uh, monetary policy meeting, we believe that cable, which is the GBP USD currency pair, could turn back down at some point soon. So, summarizing, despite the uh, strong rebound yesterday in GBP USD, we would see that as a temporary move higher, as a correction, a corrective move higher. And we believe that due to, let's say, some sort of monetary policy divergence between the Bank of England and the Fed, uh, UP USD could turn south again uh, in, in the not too distant future. Now, as uh, for today's events, during the European trading, we have the UK construction PMI for May, which is expected to have slid fractionally to 58 from 58.2. We don't believe that this will uh, affect much the British pound. We also have the final print of Eurozone's GDP for the first quarter, which is expected to just confirm its preceding estimates. Now, tonight during the Asian session Thursday, China's trade balance for May is coming out, with the surplus expected to have increased to $58 billion from $51.12 billion. This could be positive for the broader market sentiment, especially amid the relaxing COVID-related restrictions in the world's second largest economy, and especially if Chinese inflation uh, data reveal some cooling, some easing on uh, Friday. They are coming out during the Asian session on uh, Friday. So, uh, uh, a conclusion uh, from what we said today is that uh, the broader market sentiment may remain supported for a while more, at least until we get um, deflation, the US inflation data on Friday and, and China's uh, inflation data on Friday as well. Yes, we have the ECB meeting, but in my humble opinion, this will uh, tomorrow, um, um, but in my humble opinion, uh, this will affect uh, mostly uh, European indices rather than uh, the broader, the broader, the worldwide uh, market sentiment. So that's it from me. Thank you very much for watching and listening. For those who are interested in learning about the main events of the week much earlier, you can subscribe to the weekly market outlook webinar, which I'm holding every Monday at seven o'clock AM GMT. You can find the link in the description below. So goodbye. Have a great day. And I'm looking forward to seeing you here again tomorrow. JFT, just fair and direct.